MAGA truckers plan to boycott New York City over Donald Trump's $355 million fine. A group of truck drivers in support of Donald Trump has announced plans to boycott driving to New York City. The decision comes on the heels of the legal ruling that saw New York Judge Arthur Engeron slam a $355 million fine in damages on the former president. Trump has been embroiled in the fraud trial brought by New York Attorney General Letitia James, where she accused him of inflating his assets and committing fraud. He'll now also be barred from carrying out his business in New York for three years as a result of the ruling. Truckers for Trump to Boycott New York City Truck drivers affiliated with groups supportive of former President Donald Trump are gearing up to boycott New York City in response to the recent ruling that imposed a staggering $355 million fine against Trump in a fraud case. A trucker by the name of Chicago Ray on X took to the platform and wrote, I'm just one of the many millions of truckers who believe in God and love this country. I stand with Trump because Trump stands with me. Truckers for Trump ain't just a slogan, it's real. The controversy stems from a civil fraud case brought against Trump, his family, and his organization by the New York Attorney General, Letitia James. The lawsuit alleged that Trump and the Trump Organization engaged in numerous acts of fraud and misrepresentation to inflate Trump's net worth to get more favorable loan terms. However, the former president has denied it, saying, the fraud is on the court, not on me. This resulted in months-long legal proceedings that saw the billionaire politician, alongside his children, testify in court. Trump was reportedly pissed that his legal troubles were affecting his daughter, Ivanka, following her resignation from the world of politics. He was found guilty, and subsequently handed a $355 million fine last week. As a result of the ruling, he will also be barred from carrying out his business in New York City for the next three years, as his business goes under continuous watch by an independent monitor, with a separate independent director of compliance also signing off on major business decisions. Luckily for him, his business was spared from the corporate death penalty, as his license wasn't revoked. Donald Trump's son slams ruling as a setup. Trump's son Eric lashed out at New York authorities, labeling the recent legal actions against his family's business empire as a setup and a betrayal of his father's contributions to the city. The executive vice president of the Trump Organization defended his father's legacy, emphasizing Trump's role in shaping the iconic skyline of New York City through his real estate ventures. He characterized the legal actions against the Trump Organization as politically motivated and designed to tarnish the family's reputation. My father built the skyline of New York City, and this is the thanks he gets for doing absolutely nothing wrong, Eric said, per Fox News. On the Ingram angle, Eric called the case rigged while noting that the best thing he ever did was get out of New York. He also called the state and city a hopeless place and condemned Ngoron for prejudging the Trump family before the trial officially started. It was a setup from the very beginning. Engoron, the animosity, the way he looked at my father in the courthouse was horrible. I've never seen such hatred in anybody's eyes before, he claimed. Donald Trump was found guilty of sexually assaulting E. Jean Carroll. With the ruling, Trump's legal woes continue to increase. The Republican presidential hopeful was ordered to pay E. Jean Carroll, a former columnist, about $7.3 million for emotional harm, plus $11 million for reputational damages, and $65 million for punitive damages. Carroll had sued him for defaming her, although he denied the allegations, claiming that he had never met her. At the time when she first went public with the allegations, Trump called it a con job, adding that people should pay dearly for such false accusations. Reacting to the verdict in a statement, Carroll said it was a great victory for every woman who stands up when she's been knocked down and a huge defeat for every bully who has tried to keep a woman down. On how she felt in court, Carol divulged in her appearance on Good Morning America that she felt elated, and it was great. It filled her up and was almost painful. 
Make sure to subscribe and leave a like comment to help us out.